Number 92, a heart defibrillator passes 10 amps through a patient's torso for 5 milliseconds in an attempt to restore normal beating. Letter A, how much charge is passed? All right, so first thing is, eh, we can do formulas here, but I'm going to show you a different flavor. They tell us that it's 10 amps. Now, you have to remember that an amp is known as a coulomb per second, okay? So instead of writing amp there, let's write coulomb per second. So this tells us that 10 coulombs of charge will pass every single second. Well, how many seconds... Is this current applied? Five milliseconds. So we can simply figure this out. If I can simply convert this from coulombs per second into let's say coulombs per millisecond, right? Knowing that there's, for every single second, there's a thousand milliseconds. Well, then I can simply cancel those seconds. Now I know the coulombs per millisecond. And then what I would do is just multiply then by the number of milliseconds that it's being, um, it, uh, what, what, Attempted, I guess. Attempt, att no. Passed. Passed. There we go. Passed. Um, yeah. My brain's a little bit on autopilot at the moment. So 10 multiplied by 5 divided by 1,000. 0 0.5. All right. So this works out to be 0 0.05. You know, I guess sig figs, 2, 3, whatevs. And that's going to be in coulombs. So that's how much charge. All right. That takes care of letter A. Letter B. All right, now it's asking, it says, what voltage uh, was applied if 500 joules of energy was dissipated? All right, so what we need to do here is, since they're talking about what voltage, and uh, they're giving us an energy, which they also told us a time, so they're probably giving us like a wattage, right? A power, energy per time. And then they're also giving us a current. I have to figure out how these are all related to one another. All right, and the way power, voltage, and current are related is B as via the equation PIV. Power is equal to current multiplied by voltage. Mathematically, to find the voltage, just simply divide out the current from both sides. Now, what I realize is I need to plug in a power up here. Remember, what's the unit of power? Power is watts. Watts is known as what? Joules per second, right? Joules per second. So in other words, they told us how many joules, right, was applied, and all you now have to figure out at what rate were those joules applied, basically. So those 500 joules were applied over five milliseconds. So I can figure out then the wattage. In other words, remember, power is equal to energy over time. That's just what I'm mentioning. It's 500 joules divided by five milliseconds. You know we need that in terms of seconds, so it's five times 10 to the minus three, all right? And now what we can do is we can simply solve then for the power, right? So it's gonna be 500 divided by five times 10 to the minus three, and it's simply going to work out to be one now times 10, and you can consider sig figs or it, you don't really have to at this point, times 10 to the fifth watts. Now this, this is the power. That is what we're gonna plug in. So this becomes one times 10 to the fifth, all then divided by the current of 10 amps they applied. And the voltage now we realize is going to be 1.00, I guess three sig figs, whatever, times 10 to the fourth volts. And that's it. That's the voltage. And that takes care of letter B. Letter C, what is the paths now of uh, resistance? We can figure this out in you know several ways. It really uh, does not matter. Uh, what I'll do here is, uh, why don't we do, let's see, what was given in the problem? Yeah, so why don't we use um, paths resistance? So why don't we do this? Power is equal to voltage squared divided by resistance. All right, simply cross multiply this. Boom, 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 boom. So now we found the voltage, right? So we can just simply take that and plug it on in one times 10 to the fourth. Make sure you square that. Divided that, divide that then by the power, one times 10 to the fifth. All right, and all we simply have to do is now do the math. So the resistance here, if you do this, this would be one times 10 to the eighth. This is one times 10 to the fifth. Subtract the exponents, so it'd be one times 10 to the third ohms, or AKA a thousand. All right, just be careful with your sig figs there. And that takes care of letter C, and then letter D, Find the temperature increase caused by the eight kilograms of affected uh, tissue. So now what we need to do, so now what we need to do, uh, where should I put this? Let me put it here in blue. All right. So um, find the temperature increase caused by eight kilograms of affected tissue. So now what we have to realize is uh, we have to somehow connect this to temperature increase. So we're thinking about Q equals MC delta T. Why? 
because they're talking about find the temperature increase or aka temperature difference. They're telling us a now mass, all right, of tissue. And I know that I have an energy here of 500 joules. So I can find then, assuming that we know the specific heat of tissue. So we can then solve that, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to take then the, actually, let's just solve this for delta T right now. So divide out both sides by MC. So we realize that delta T is going to be equal to the heat energy applied divided by the mass multiplied by the specific heat. This is the 500 joules that was given in the problem divided by the mass now of 8 kilograms multiplied by the specific heat of uh, tissue. So that's going to be roughly about 3,600. Or I think this text might be using about 3,500, but it depends on the tissue, obviously, because it will have different composition. So, um, you know, that's an average value. But anyway, 500 divided then by 8 times 3,500. And we get a value of about now the temperature increase for this tissue will be... Zero point, so yeah, zero point zero one seven nine. Yeah, and that's in then degrees Celsius. So that's the temperature increase. All right, so it doesn't increase by that much. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.